Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Ace of Wands, very nice. The Queen of Wands, ooh, there you are, but you're in reverse. We'll see what, Eight of Cups in reverse also, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. Uh, the Hermit's in reverse, that's nice. Five of Swords is in reverse, and the Five of Cups is in reverse, wow. Okay, under this deck is the Seven of Swords upright. This looks like a really good reading. Seven of Wands is behind that, there's a Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's like someone coming in, this could be you, but Knight of Wands energy coming in very fast. I feel like it's in the middle of the night. I feel like it's secrecy. Someone didn't walk away. Someone is coming out of the hermit mode, but yet they've let go of the past, and it looks like they are not doing this out of malice or anger or spite with the Five of Swords in reverse. Like Someone has a complete change of heart. It's kind of what I'm seeing, but we'll see. You may not be seeing this clearly because you're in reverse, but what is the Ace of Wands? Three of Swords is also in reverse. So a broken heart, but... The moon. Okay, you're confused. You don't see something clearly. This may be a good thing or a bad thing. Eight of Cups. Page of Cups is in reverse. We have the Ten of Coin with the Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Four of Wands. Wow, talk about a new beginning, Sagittarius. There is... Like the Three of Swords in Reverse, letting go of the past, letting go of the sadness, new passion with the Ace of Wands, something you don't quite see yet. And maybe that you're still mad at someone or still holding a grudge. But what is the moon? Eight of Swords, trapped, confusion, trapped in your own mind, not seeing something with the moon, fears. That This actually is a good thing. Because it means that there's something around you that I feel is working out in your favor, Sagittarius, or it's coming in that's really good, but you don't understand it, or you don't see it, or you think, you know, you're not seeing it clearly. Okay, Eight of Cups in reverse, but the Page of Cups in reverse. So Eight of Cups is about not walking away, but Page of Cups, I feel like, is not really offering love. Like, they're not reaching out. They're not communicating. They're not saying how they truly feel when it's in reverse. Could be you. Permit in reverse, you might be dealing with a Virgo, but you have the Ten of Coins upright. I feel like someone is going to resurface, Sagittarius, that you have a very strong connection with, with the Ten of Coins. Five of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Five of Cups in reverse with the Four of Wands. Okay, what is the Wheel of Fortune? What's coming at the Wheel? This is meant to be with the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords. It's like a destined new beginning with someone. So maybe you don't see this yet. Maybe you don't know the Three of Swords. It's in reverse, but you may be feeling sad right now. Why is the Page of Cups in reverse? This could be you. You're not offering love. You're not communicating with other people. You're not. King of Cups is upright. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but this is someone with a lot of emotion, I feel for you. This guy, or woman, is upright. They're seeing things clearly, but yet they're not communicating with how they feel. So, this person loves you, but they're not saying at the Page of Cups. They didn't walk away, Eight of Cups. It's like they still have love for you, or passion, or they went away with the Hermit card. Maybe they ghosted you. I feel like this person, what I'm seeing here, no longer is angry. They've no longer held on to the past, and they want a new beginning. But you don't see that because you're stuck in your own mind. You're stuck in your own fears. But this person is not communicating either with Page of Cups in reverse. They're not saying what needs to be said to make it clear enough to you, I feel, with that energy. This person also may want to build long-term with the Ten of Coins. What is the Ace of Wands? The tower. Oh, look at that energy, though. The lightning strikes it. I mean, this to me is very powerful. This could be a shock with the energy I'm seeing here. I, I don't see this as being a negative tower, but this is like a change of a change of mind, a dramatic change, different something that's very different this time around. What is the tower? The lovers. 
is you know what this feels like like some like you meet a soulmate like love at first sight like this person ignites your soul so maybe this is not someone that you already know but someone that when you meet them it's like that instant connection that that lightning bolt hits you in the head like you're like shocked the lovers and the ace of wands whatever this is because see how she's looking over them this is destined this was meant to be you have the wheel here and for some of you this is someone you know and someone you love dearly and you wanted to be with them the stars underneath the deck right now too again i feel like you're having a lot a lot of lot of guidance and angelic or spiritual or just you know your guides helping you but yeah, you can't see this, which is very interesting. With the moon there and the Eight of Swords. You're, maybe you're afraid to open your heart to this person. What is the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius? Six of Coins. So, Page of Wands is under the deck. So again, that's communication to you, from you. I don't, it's almost like for some of you, and this is for some, like almost like you expect, Expect this person to give you something or you expect something with a page of wands six of coins energy like you don't see this for what it really is you want balance and you want nothing less like you want a relationship where this is true love both partners give and this could be but you're just not seeing that because in this deck almost balanced it's pretty balanced with the two scales right um, giving and receiving I feel like you're seeing something wrong you're not seeing it clear clearly enough what is a ten of coins eight of wands communication this is going to happen very fast this has a, a, a somewhat of an energy of um, what sign was that? Was it oh Capricorn? Has a, a kind of a feeling maybe dealing with a Capricorn. It's like someone doesn't also doesn't want to lose you. Could also be what's showing up here. If that re resonates, definitely for you because the six of coin, eight of wands. It's like someone wants to give you the ten of coins, like the world, and that's actually what I named the other reading with the world in the background here and all these coins and they want to make you happy they want to buy you something they're doing everything in their power to maybe this person can't communicate love maybe that's why they're coming out as the king of cups they can't say the words page of cups in reverse they still love you but they have a lot of emotion for you but they just maybe they buy you things to, sh to show you that they care about you and some signs do that they work and work and work to provide a nice home nice things and but they may not show you it maybe with gifts or maybe the way they talk or what they say but I feel like maybe that's what I'm seeing here like you're thinking no they're not showing it the love the right way or you're just afraid I'm kind of getting some of you are just afraid afraid to open up to this person what is the four of wands what is the four of wands strength yeah could be a Leo but more than likely it's like do you take that next step forward do you let go of the past and do you build, rebuild, four of wands with this person? It's like you almost have to kind of go on faith is what I'm seeing with that. Like you don't really want to, you're worried, you're afraid to, but you almost like you need to. You need to like have blind trust that this is destined, this is meant to be. Because for some of you this is, this is like um, divine destined love coming in for you. For some of you, this is someone who may have broken your heart, though, in the past is also what I'm seeing here. They may have left you in a very hurtful way. Five of Cups. Either you let it go or they have. They're King of Wands under the deck. They may be a fire sign like you with the Ten of Cups behind them. Knight of Swords, they're coming in very fast. Very fast. Some of you may be engaged or with somebody else, and this is very threatening to them. They may have just found out, and that may be what, what is waking them up to come in very quickly for you, to claim you, you know, and to prove they love you. And they may be giving you a gift, and you're thinking, well, I don't really want money. I don't need money. I don't need a gift. I want love. And this person doesn't know how to express this love to you. But yet it's like they are on a soulmate 
level with you that's so deep and so, so amazing, like shocking. That's kind of what I'm getting. This is a very beautiful reading, Sagittarius. It's like this person's coming back in for some of you. And again, for some of you, this is new. And you're just letting go of the past, but you're having a hard time trusting. And this person may, again, like I'm saying, giving you gifts as opposed to like expressing love, saying they love you. And you're like, you know what? This is, I had this before and I don't want that. I want the romance. I want, you know, I want flowers and dinner and gifts and poems. And this person's like, well, it's not really how I do things. So, but I'm seeing love here. I mean, pure. Okay, let me pull some romance cards. Okay, let go of control issues. Yes, that's a perfect one for you. Or this reading. I shouldn't say you necessarily. I just mean for this reading because that's what I'm seeing. You're very, you know, in reverse with the moon, confused, trapped in your head. You want, you want things very specific is kind of what I'm seeing. You want them done your way so that you know that this person truly cares. One more card, please. Whoops. And healing family issues. So this could be just healing. Healing this from this person, healing your own heart. It doesn't have to be your family. And under the deck, I notice it's saying it's safe for you to love. So that's what I'm feeling. This is what I'm feeling for this spread. It's safe to love this person because they truly love you. For some of you, this will be love at first sight with this, these three here. This will be a magnetic attraction that's so deep and powerful that it might blow you away that that's what scares you, okay? But this shows me go for it. I mean, go with the flow. See what unfolds. Let the past go. So I'm hoping this is helpful, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it here. Have a really good week, you guys, and take care.